Here we are doing the Load Lifter 5000 series. I got the Ultimate Plus, uh, which comes with these bags, which I'm just putting together. Comes with the braided hoses. Uh, I'm not sure if that was really worth it or not. I've got some bags on here that have been on here maybe 15 years. I've only had the truck for about 11, but you can see they're all pretty pitted out. And I know I'll be out on the road and they'll go out on me while I'm hauling a big old fifth wheel, that monster over there. So I'm going to swap them out anyway. Uh, my old compressor bit the dust. It was this old school, which worked fantastic, actually. I never had a problem with it. Uh, finally went out. Had this little controller mounted up under the dash, which worked great as well. Uh, we switched over to uh, the wireless one easy mount, uh, the airlift one. Um, works pretty sweet. Um, I'll show you where that thing mounted. It worked out pretty slick. Um, we just put a U-bolt, like you can see right there. You can see my wire loom and that red wire that goes up. I ran everything in wire loom just because that's how I am. Put some wire loom around this. It's got this connector on it. And uh, we just got it mounted up this way. This is all temporary just so I could see how it worked out. Um, I drilled a little, I think a 3 8 hole and just mounted this sucker right up here up high. Um, I think it's got a little filter in it, so I wanted to have easy access to it. Um, I put a little wire loom here on the bottom. You can mount this in any direction. You just can't mount it upside down, and you can't mount this connector facing down. So any other direction is fine. And uh, I ran, uh, that's got a wire, waterproof connection that I put on there. That's the only connection back here. I reused the existing uh, ground here. I thought it was fine. Scraped off. You always want to scrape off as much uh, rust and paint to get that. I may sp spray some black paint on there just so it doesn't rust out. I had to move this brake, I think this is the brake, over a little bit and I put some wire loom around it as well. I just bent it a little bit up and back and around. That was a little tricky, but I didn't want it touching or rubbing. So I put some, some of that wire loom on there as well. Anyway, that I ran, you can see it up through here and it goes all the way over this way. I'll show you where that's at. See if you can see it. it just goes along there um zip tied it and then i just snuck it you can't really see it snuck it up there following this following this main wire harness was a piece of cake something to tie it to my old one ran to this area but i didn't want to put it in the same spot that's on my radar detector but i had another one an add a fuse that ran my old one Mounted up under the dash, but I didn't really like that. So that one just runs that radar detector right now. So I decided to run it. Instructions say take it all the way back to the um, to the battery. Um, but I didn't really want to attach to those. And so I actually pulled this. You pull this bracket off. This thing comes off. And uh, I attached it to this right here, if you can see that came up, put it in here so it's accessible with the other fuses. Uh, this other pink wire I attached to this accessory so it knows if the truck's on or not. A uh, really odd thing here is, I thought this was a negative because between here and this is the one I tied into, I've got 12 volts. Maybe somebody can help me out with that. I'm an electrician of 20 years and I got 12 volts there but the pump did not run. So I actually cheated and I had to put this little thing on here. I don't love it. Um, it stripped out a little bit on that first one, so I scraped some paint off. Like I said, I always scrape paint off when you uh, mount something there, but it seemed to work, and everything's hidden up underneath that. So I thought that worked out fine, and I'll just put this sucker back on, and then all my fuses are, are all tucked up in there. Uh, one more little quick note. As you're putting this sucker together, this is a 2500 HD model. The 2500 HD model has to have... Uh, these mounted on each one for some reason. Um, I think it just rests on the. Um, I think it just rests on the axle in the back. I don't know why. Um, and also make sure you before you screw those down, you put these carriage bolts in. I do that multiple times. But once it's screwed down, you can. Once it, these carriage bolts are in, and this is on, and also on the 2500 models, you need that sucker to stick on there. Uh, so get that all on first before you put it in. Also, there's a left and a right side. You'll see that in the instructions. Driver's side mounts on. These are A. These are B. 
So on the passenger side, you can see I've got those mounted on the B part of the flange. This is the A, that's the B. Um, that little bolt I was, it tells you to do only on the 2500 models, which is that one there. If you look on the one they already did, I don't think they have it on there, which is right here, which I think, if I can get a better angle. It looks like this one doesn't have it on here. Should have gone right there. And uh, again, I wonder if it just bounced just to put some, just to put something right there from that bending over. I don't know. So that's what we'll do. Got a bunch of WD-40 on these. We'll um, pull those suckers off, pull them all out and put the new ones in and we should be up and running. Doing this video because my buddies tell me I should do videos for for all the projects we do. And uh, um, yeah, we have an RX-8 we're working on as well. But this again is for these uh, Ultimate Plus um, airlift and they work pretty good. Uh, I have the old ones again are pretty pitted and I've had those for a while. Figured might as well just swap them out. Anyway, hope this helps. See ya. All right, here we got our new bags in. Um, got that valve on top. Uh, didn't need that. Uh, I put it on anyway. That way, if I need it, it's there. Um, there's that little bolt it asks for. Uh, I had to get... Oh, let's see. There's where I ran both of those up. I went through that over to the other side. And that side over there, I actually had to drill. I, uh, drill it open a little bit more. So that's where that was. That hole right. Oh, jeez, of course I can't get to it. Making everybody nauseous. That hole there, I had to drill out with a unibit just to get that um, braided cable up in there. But they sat in all right. A little tricky. Getting them lined up as they don't seem to sit perfectly centered on the um, on the beam there. And that one sets pretty decent. I guess it is almost centered. But that's about what it looks like total there. And I brought both of those cables up through that beam. Tied them into the compressor here. And there's a better picture of that compressor. It is kind of loud. My other one was pretty loud as well. But both those cables come in here. That one's almost long enough to come into here, the braided cable. The other braided cable runs. Both of them just run up through here. That other one, I just put a splice up in that beam somewhere. And then I decided for the heck of it, I'm just gonna put in this valve here. So that I can, if the compressor ever goes out, you can just hook in right there, test it out. I'm gonna put some wire loom probably on this to protect this after I test it. I got about 20 PSI in it right now. And uh, we'll kick it on and throw some soap, soapy water on it, give it a little test. Should be good to go. Thanks. Here's a final look at this with the wire loom on. Put some soapy water on it. Everything tested out just fine. And uh, yeah, one little zip tie there. Everything turned out pretty good. Um, little zip tie there to hold it on there. And it also is pretty solid and shouldn't have a problem. Hopefully the bags are all good. Um, I did end up getting some new springs on there. Um, I think those are almost one ton rated or 2,300 pound. Uh, each side probably need some new um, those Bilstein shocks aren't that old probably only have 15,000 miles on them so if anybody has some good ideas on some better shocks but uh, the springs were completely depressed the other way so I had to upgrade those but uh, rides really nice with the new springs with the new airbags really happy with it can't wait to can't wait to tow with it this summer and uh, should be a good setup so have a good one